The challenge here is the lack of accountability coming from China. Our scientists from the very beginning have been communicating, but they have not been as open. We have now find that it started in November. Maybe if they had told us then, we could have been in something much better. The movement of it in the con being so contagious um, means that it can move a at a rapid speed. Uh, the mortality level um, is uh, at a lower level, uh, higher than a flu. But uh, from a t pandemic situation, if it, once it gets in, you, how do you control it from growing? That's the preparation that we've been doing now. That's the preparation that this president had done before, trying to contain it to China. We want to make sure there is enough money. We could always come back. I think uh, $2 billion is a little low on the side. I think we're probably looking at $4 billion in this process. Having spoken to um, Democrat House members from appropriations, that's what they were looking. I think this is a moment in time where the world works together. America has been a leader in so much of this. That's why I'm proud of the fact in our majority of what we did to increase the funding in NIH and CDC. Forward looking to this day coming, um, we have some tremendous experts in there. And it really, if the other countries would unshackle what's holding them back from allowing our experts to help, I think the world would be safer sooner.